Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Riverdale. So let's start talking about this episode. So we get to see a lot of stuff happen with this episode, leading into, I guess, the finale now, uh, because we are a couple episodes away, and we do have a hiatus for next week. So we don't have a new episode next week, but the new episode will be the week after. So with this episode, though, we get to see it's Jughead's birthday, and Jughead is not really a fan of his birthday, but... Betty wants to do something to celebrate it. So she's like, all right, let's bring the inner circle together. And she includes Kevin and Veronica, Archie, and they have a small party. And Jughead's not very happy because he's like, I'd rather just you and Archie be here because you're my actual, actual friends. The other two are just you know, acquaintances pretty much. So you kind of see the differences between Jughead and Betty, but really what this episode's about is also seeing how similar they are. It's Betty exploring her anger issues that we've seen in the past and once explode when she thought she was Polly and kind of explode again here, not in the same way, but she's discovering, yes, there's a darkness in me and I don't really know what to do. And it's Jughead and Betty kind of helping each other, um... Because originally it's just Jughead saying, oh, I'm just your pet project because I'm different. And Betty's like, no, that's not true. So you're kind of seeing it being very much a neutral relationship of each other. Again, of, of these two helping each other. So it was definitely an interesting storyline. And then there's some more romance kind of switching up where we see Archie and Veronica sleep together and end up together. And they're kind of keeping it a secret. Only Jughead knows about it. And Veronica does not tell Betty, which I think in the long run might create some tension, which I don't love because I really do like Veronica and Betty on good terms. I know the show probably won't end up that way, but I like that's what made the show different from the comics where they're more frenemies. Here they're actually friends and Veronica only does the Veronica Lodgeness to people that she doesn't like and are not friends with. Like Cheryl in this episode, where she says, hey, you kind of had a weird relationship with your brother and everyone knows it. I love that scene because it's so obvious and and uh, it shows that Veronica thinks she's, you know, very screwed up that maybe Cheryl's the one who killed her own brother. We'll have to see. There's definitely some evidence there. But since they mention it, probably you know, probably didn't happen, but I thought that was a cool scene. So it just kind of shows Veronica being Veronica, but not, not to her friends. You know, she's definitely kinder to her friends. So I like that. Overall, it was a really good episode. Archie's dealing with his parents' uh, drama that might not be drama anymore because his mom comes back, played by Mo uh, Molly Ringwall, uh, upset that happens in the end of the episode. So we have to wait a little while to see what their dynamic is like. But... Yeah, a lot of good stuff happening in this episode. I think it's one of the stronger Riverdale episodes where definitely I was entertained throughout the whole the whole story. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of the episode. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.